Yet another light rail derailment plaguing cats, and tonight some employees say they are fearful that they're going to lose their job and scared passengers riding the light rail will get hurt. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. And good evening, I'm Alicia Barnes. One Blue Line operator who spoke exclusively to Queen City News says if a derailment happens, all operators feel the company will blame them and not the equipment. Well, these new images show the moment a rail car went off the tracks yesterday. And the operator says it's time for someone to talk about the issues. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis is live from South End tonight. And Will, this derailment took place after being repaired. It sure did, Alicia, according to a CAT spokesperson. And that spokesperson wouldn't confirm if this train was part of the fleet receiving a repair for a faulty axle bearing. Now, that bearing was blamed for the 2022 derailment, according to the interim CEO uh, in a lot of Queen City News reports. Now, we do know that this train was on the tracks after routine maintenance, and the operator we spoke to say it's incidents like this that are making some operators quit. Whoever derailed that train in the yard, that could have happened to any one of us. You know, and that's the scary part. A veteran cat's light rail operator says after the second derailment, he had to speak with someone. I'm tired of the operating on pins and needles. Operating where you don't know what's going to happen that day. I guess we all don't know what's going to happen every day, but on the train it's a little bit higher risk of operating a light rail vehicle. According to Katz, the latest derailment took place Wednesday morning at 1135. The train was going five miles an hour in the south yard of the light rail facility when one of the trucks on the train left its natural position. The train was not in service but was going through routine testing after maintenance. It's, it's scary that we got to operate where we possibly could derail again on the line. The operator saying this accident is similar to the derailment on Scaly Bark Road in 2022. Katz officials said the train had a faulty axle bearing and they were going to repair the entire fleet. I keep on hearing that uh, things is going to get better. I've been hearing that since I've been there. And it don't seem like it's just getting worse, actually. A CAT spokesperson says it's too early to know the cause or speculate on the cause of the May 10th incident. The operator says, imagine if this took place in the city while the blue line was going 35 miles per hour. The thought is equipment failure won't be the first thing looked at, and that means operators could lose their job. We all are worried about what might happen, you know, derailment, because that derailment could have happened to any one of us. We always think about the danger of operating with trains that are not properly fixed. Now, the operator in this latest incident was not hurt. CATS and the North Carolina Department of Transportation are investigating, but there's no word on how long it will take to determine a cause. We're live in South End. Will Lewis, Queen City News.